teaches girls how to do science, technology, engineering and maths. It's predominantly like men involved with this kind of work, um, so I think it's good to get girls involved with it too. A lot of people don't think that ghetto science is a ghetto subject, but science can be a subject for anybody. Ghetto, ghetto subjects and boy subjects aren't a thing. Doesn't no, exist. it doesn't exist. Ghetto, ghetto power! power. Yeah. Yay! There are very few people who dream really, really big by themselves and I fully endorse the statement it takes a, a village to raise a child. So Smart Stems is about pulling industry, schools and universities together so that STEM engagement is effective and builds a really a staircase of attainment uh, right through from primary school all the way up to university. And we want to ensure that there's no accidents of birth uh, in terms of opportunity. Each person has an opportunity to get exposed to all sorts of different careers and that's irrespective of their parents or the school's connections into industry. It's about ensuring everybody explores and realises the best of their potential. So whether these are apprenticeships, whether these are graduate level apprenticeships, whether they are university courses or postgraduate courses, all of these things are part of the same recipe book. We're making sure that everyone has something to take from this. Feedback so far has been fantastic. Uh, we're absolutely delighted with the reactions we get, the faces that they, that they pull and how they're just amazed when you show them things that can be done. It's great, it's great. The best thing about Smart Stems today was getting uh, to see uh, an inventor. Well, the speeches about the ladies being in science and maths, I thought that was really good and kind of wanted to make me be in science and things like that. It was really good because they have the confidence to speak to other people about their lifetimes. Sometimes dreams can be lost, you know, aspirations can just melt away, you know, as you go from S1 to S2 to S3. Um, and just as you grow and develop. So what we are trying to do here is to just try and capture those dreams as early as we can. Hopefully my story will give them a sort of person to compare to when they get to that stage because right now they're still entering into you know high school and they're very young but it's a good age to get them because they're very impressionable and it means that when they get to third year and they're taking their options or they're sitting in a class in fourth year with all boys they can think back and go Someone else has done it. People have done it before. It's not just me. We want to put role models in front of the girls. Role models who themselves have excelled, who've done their own thing, who've gone on and been a real success in their careers. And these young ladies are there in front of the girls to help them understand that the world is their oyster, that the opportunities are enormous, and that the girls can get so much more from undertaking study and careers in this particular subject. They've realised they could work for Google, which no one in Renfrew would have ever have thought that they could go work for Google. And for some kids, they will have never seen a university. So getting out and actually seeing what it's like and seeing the different options, it makes it bigger. It makes it real. The best thing about today is was to see what university looked like and experience is going to be like. It's a great experience to get your hopes up and inspire you to be more than just a normal girl. This is my first time in a university and it's been very exciting and without the boys it's been easier to put your hand up and because it's all your own like, people. As a teacher I'm definitely taking away from, from this that I really want to home in on our girls and not keep them in that background and encourage them as much as I can and actually look out for more careers for them. You know, do a wee bit of research myself so I can actually highlight, you know, that there are these lots of cool careers for them to go into and get them really inspired, get them interested. I put a wee spark, spark into their head now thinking, ah, maybe there is something else there that I could go along here. I've thought that today was like really different from a real day. Like, it's, it's been interesting the fact that we've got to meet all different kinds of new people and everyone's been really kind and helpful and it's it made me think about changing what I want to be when I grow up. It's inspired me to be who I want to be and do whatever job that I want to do. Before today I wanted to be a teacher but now I want to like work with now I want to work with computers, like just like anything around that. Well, before I would have liked to be a makeup artist or a hairdresser, 
Um, but now I might want to be a scientist. Before today, I thought STEMS was just like engineers and stuff and scientists, but it's more than that. It's production, it's how to encrypt computers, it's how to build things, and it's just, it's more than expected. And today's all been about breaking down that stereotype, um, having female, positive female role models, and just identifying that all around us, science is happening every day, technology is everywhere, um, mathematics is used um, in all walks of life. So I think um, just to have the opportunity to see these different um, career prospects and different um, parts of even sports that the STEM subjects are relevant to, to their life and to society as a whole. Smart STEMs and campaigns like this Asia Girl Can are important because there are fantastic opportunities in the Scottish economy um, for, for really high level jobs for young people and a lot of young women don't realise how great these jobs are and it's important for us to try and raise their awareness of that. It's really important I think in the future everybody who consumes technology and everyone who wants to change the world should be able to and so helping everyone break down the barriers to do that is why I do this and I think other people should too. I think that anyone watching this who wants to get involved should just do it and that they shouldn't let their doubts get to them. Just go all in. Try Smart Steps because it's really, really fun. I think seeing this many young girls interested and in coming along to this type of event gives us hope that things can change for the future. I think that's good for all of us, not just them, but for all aspects of life. If we can't play our role to inspire you know, this young, younger generation of young women coming through to do science. I don't think we'd be playing our role as a good company. You know, we, we have a role to play and I think being here is, is really part of our, our company's mission. Events like today allow them to see it, allow them to believe it. What we need to do going forward is reinforce the message, have the schools reinforce the message, have industry reinforce the message. I think it's fantastic and I think the girls think it's fantastic too and I can't wait till they're all part of our industry in 10 years time. If I had to sum up smart stems in one word, it would be life change. Extraordinary. Jam packed. Excellent. Cool. Optimism. Collaboration. Inspiration. Amazing. Exciting. Opportunity. Brilliant. Incredible. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> 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 <laughs>